On a summer's day, if one chooses to stroll along Park Street, it's hard to imagine that the pleasant green suburb it bisects was once at war with the city of Melbourne. And yet this is indeed the case. Back in 1819, you would be hard-pressed to find a southerner who wasn't in favour of Ghazali's plan for secession, who didn't dream of leading the charge into Spencer Street themselves, who hadn't snuck into the depot as the clouds obscured the moon and loaded ammunition into the false-bottomed number 12 trams. It was Ghazali who united them. Kazali with his coal black hair and eyes of steel. Six foot tall Kazali, favorite of the ladies and mate to all the men, who christened the guerrilla regiment with the terrifying name of the Bloods, who designed their uniform with its white for honor and purity, and its crimson sash for loyalty, and the blood they would spill, theirs and that of others, in their quest for liberty. As tensions mounted, the west bank of the Yarra turned red with the coats of government troops. Kazali worked the bloods into a frenzy, urging every man and woman to swear to defend their rights and liberties. The Battle of September 11 was all too brief and all too bloody. The screams of the dying mingled with the smell of gun smoke as the government troops were forced back to Burke Street the promise of future salaries unable to compete with the determination that comes with knowing that one's cause is just and true. On September 12, the governor conceded defeat and South Melbourne went on to pursue its goals of peaceful but independent coexistence with the British colonies. As a concession to this policy, the army of the newly independent territory changed their name to the Swan. Though certain individuals have pointed out that given the story of the Greek god Zeus taking the form of a swan and forcing himself upon a young woman, this was hardly a reflection of a non-violent disposition. <laughs>